Hi, I wanted to do a little video for you because I just read in a new book that I got that <clears throat> evidence shows that yoga can help reduce chronic inflammation and it may boost immunity, helping you get sick less often and less intensely. Your body can heal itself and yoga can help. So I'm going to show a few chair poses that you can do. And I also want to start with a breathing. Breathing can help calm the body um, and focusing on the breath will help to clear the mind. So it can also be helpful for pain management. So I will walk you through a quick breathing exercise. So we're just going to sit and you can feel free to sit on a chair with your back straight and the feet flat on the floor, resting the hands on the thighs. I'm sitting in um, Indian style or cross-legged pose here. So just take a moment and close the eyes. Just breathe normally. And now we're going to begin to count the breath. So we're going to inhale for four and exhale for six. So exhaling for longer than we inhale can help to relax the body. So really try to concentrate on my counting and then eventually on your counting the breath. So let's inhale, two, three, four. Hold for a moment. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now try to do a few rounds on your own, counting the breath in for four, holding for a moment, and then out for six. When your mind begins to wander, try to bring it back to your breath. Let's take one more inhalation, one more exhalation. Now let's slowly open the eyes. So another thing breathing uh, can help us with is to increase our lung capacity, which is helpful for walking, running, any sort of aerobic activity. So I'll go ahead and get on the chair and just show a few moves that you can do. So we're going to start with the feet flat on the floor. They can be hip width apart and rest the hands on the thighs. Sit up straight and we'll just start with some neck circles. So you can release the chin down to the chest 
And then bring the right ear to the right shoulder and go around to the left and back down. So only go as far as you feel comfortable. In yoga, we don't want to feel any pain. We want everything to feel good. A stretch is okay, but no pain. And as your chin hits the chest again, let's go over to the left. Let's do one more. And as the chin hits the chest, we'll lift the head back up. Now we'll lift the arms up to the sky. You can have the arms straight right by the ears or just let them go in a nice wide V. So we're going to drop the left hand to the chair beside the chair or to the thigh and just slowly release over to the left. So the right palm is facing the left side, keeping the shoulder away from the ear. Just go over as far as feels comfortable for you. And now inhale, straighten the spine, lift the left arm. And we'll release the right arm beside the chair, holding on to the chair or to the thigh. Only leaning over as far as you can go. Left palm faces the right side. And now we'll inhale both arms up and release them by the sides. So as you're doing these poses, you can concentrate on your breath and close the eyes. So I'm going to move the chair this way to show you our next move, which is a cat and cow. So as you inhale, we're going to flex the spine and pull the chest forward. As you exhale, try to round the spine and release the head. Inhale, open the chest, open the collarbones. Try to squeeze the shoulders together. And exhale, try to round the spine. Moving slowly here with the breath. Inhale to a modified cat, cow, and exhale to the modified cat. And now as we inhale, we'll come back to a straight spine, keep the hands here, and we're just going to do some spinal circles. So we're going to inhale, open the chest, and then just spin around to the right and then to the left. So I'll turn my chair again so you can see the spinal rotation. Trying to keep both hips and glutes and legs on the chair. Exhaling, rounding the spine and inhaling, opening the chest. And when you come to center, let's go the other way. So making these as big or as small as what feels good for you. You can close the eyes or keep the eyes open. Let's do one more circle here. And as you come forward, we'll come back to that straight spine. So the next thing we're going to work on are just some leg lifts. I'll turn my chair back this way so you can see. But we're just going to place the left foot firmly into the ground and we're just going to lift the right thigh. And you can have the hands underneath the thigh here and just try to stretch out that foot. Keeping a tall spine. 
Feel the abdomen engaged here as you try to pull the belly button back. And then we'll slowly release that leg, ground into the right foot, and we'll lift the left leg up. You can have the hands interlaced underneath that left thigh and just try to kick that left leg out. And then begin to bend the knee again and release. So you could do two or three of those, but I'm just going to show one for the sake of time. So the next pose, the next two poses we're going to do will be off the chair. The first one is a down dog modification. So we're going to step back away from the chair and then we're going to release the hands to the top of the chair. And then begin to step the feet back. Feet can be hip width apart. We want a slight bend in the knees as we begin to release the chest down and the head. We want the ears in between the biceps and we want to keep a flat back here. So we're stretching into the hamstrings and the low back. So if you need to modify the pose even more, you can come up. If you don't have that flexibility in the hamstrings yet. So close the eyes, just take a few more breaths here. You can use the counting that we did in the beginning of class, inhaling for four and exhaling for six. Pull the belly button in. And then we'll slowly begin to walk the feet back in towards the chair and lift the torso. So the next pose we're going to do is a modified triangle pose. So we want the left foot, or the right foot, I'm sorry, to be parallel with the back of the chair. So the toes are facing forward. We want the left foot to be perpendicular to the back of the chair and perpendicular to the right foot. And we want the left heel to be uh, in between, in line with the arch of the right foot. And now we're gonna take the left hand to the chair. We're going to lift the right arm up and we're just going to fold over. You can gaze forward or down depending on your neck flexibility. You can also straighten the left arm. But we want to keep the chest lifting. So we don't want to be falling over like this, but we want to keep the chest lifted. Just hold here for a few breaths. And then we'll rise back up and release the arms. So now we'll switch sides. The right foot is perpendicular to the back of the chair and the left foot is facing forward. The right heel is to the arch of the left foot. And they're about two feet apart from one another. Right hand to the top of the chair, lift the left arm up, and then exhale as you fold over towards the chair. The gaze is forward or down. You can straighten the right arm using the top of the chair here to support us. Deep breathing. 
Take your awareness to your breath. And now we'll inhale and release the arms. We'll come back to the chair now for our last pose. We're going to do a spinal twist. So I'm going to turn the chair this way. So you can have both feet on the <clears throat> floor or you can cross first the right leg over the left. We're going to take the left hand to the outside of that right thigh and bring the right arm around behind us. So we can grab onto the bottom of the chair or you can rest the hand on the back of the chair. And we're going to open the chest to the right and try to gaze over towards the right shoulder. A seated twist. Now, if crossing the legs is too much for you, you can keep both legs flat. And now we'll inhale back to center and we'll switch sides, keeping both legs flat. Right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Swing the left arm around behind you to hold on to the bottom of the chair or maybe the back of the chair and gaze over towards your left shoulder. If you have more flexibility in the back, you can bring the left leg over the right. Now inhale back to center. We'll bring the hands to heart center, palms to touch, close the eyes, take a deep breath in, out through the mouth, namaste. Thank you for joining me. Bye.